Welcome back. You know, the pandemic means we all need to rethink how we'll celebrate Thanksgiving holiday and keep everybody safe. That's the priority here today with some Turkey Day tips on how to hold a virtual gathering is tech expert Lance Yulinov, Kelly. But wait, <laughs> there's oh. more. It wouldn't be Thanksgiving without family. Right. So joining us virtually is Lance's mother-in-law, Phyllis Rohde, Hi. and our very own Ari Moore. What a nice, oh. what a nice group. <laughs> This is fabulous. Art, what are you tipping there? What are you, what are you tipping? Got to have my morning screwdriver. Ah, uh, yes, his morning screwdriver. Not to be confused with his second morning screwdriver. Phyllis, do you have a so, morning cocktail? Right. Is there a morning so cocktail talk, that you like, Phyllis? Absolutely. Are you talking to me what? Yeah, yeah. Do, you like, do you have a favorite morning cocktail like Art? No. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this, because this is... <laughs> this is the life. So technology is going to be how we connect this Thanksgiving, yeah. how we do it together. First thing is set a schedule and stick to it. Now, you can use something like iCalendar, Google Calendar, even reminders, but map out the whole day and stick to it so everybody knows where they should be and when they should be there because that's how it's going to run better. Also, super important, check your Wi-Fi, because without Wi-Fi, none of this works. Yeah, right. The last thing you want to discover is that your table, your, your dining room table, is the worst place for Wi-Fi. Maybe you have to move it. Better yet, move your router. If your router is still not giving you max throughput, shut it off. Give it five minutes. Turn it back on. Then be patient. All of your technology will okay, come back. Good. Super, super important. Help family members set up. Don't leave them hanging. <laughs> that might be Talk to them about their people. computer. Talk to them about their phone. Talk to them about the software they're going to use. Walk them through how to use it. Also, it would be great if you could plan one similar dish. You find a recipe online. Everybody cooks it. We did a pumpkin pie. Everybody has a pumpkin pie that we all worked on together, which is great. Mm. Uh, we also think that you should do a signature dish and cook virtually because Thanksgiving is not just about the dinner. It's about the whole process. But then you got to set it. up the stuff in the find kitchen it. and set up the stuff find on the table. It. You're asking you so understand lot. what we're doing? Yeah, you, you're <laughs> asking a lot here, Lance. Uh, you you are it. asking. Uh, I am still dealing with parents that just when don't I understand. FaceTime well, them, the camera is facing in the... They are not so, seeing... So important. Don't wait till the last minute because that's how you're going to get ahead of those problems. Also, it's nice to set a mood, create a shared playlist, if you can, of music. You can do collaborative playlists on Apple Music and Pandora and Spotify. But also, if that doesn't work for sort of, you know, because they're not going to be in sync, maybe use satellite radio and choose the radio station. What? Do you understand... <laughs> Was it, Lance, you're asking the impossible. How do we stay interactive, though, during all of this? What's all right, you want to, okay, so well, first of all, let's just talk a little bit because being able to see each other is really important, so uh -huh. you want to brighten the room. You want to make sure that the lighting is good. So turn the lights on above. Don't have backlight because then your relative's going to be completely in shadow. You don't understand. Uh, <laughs> no, no, we we need to not, record. You have to record like, it. It's like, uh, they, it's like living in a I, bat cave. Do you understand? Will, Kelly, please you record I, it I'll this tell you what, Kelly, well, you put me on speed dial. I'll help okay. you through. Right, but put the phones away. Don't have any phones except for the screens you're going to use okay. for the dinner. Okay. Uh, Phyllis, are you very proud of Lance in his first segment? Yes, I am. Well, guess what? Proud. He's going to get another. Another segment with Lance right after this. More tips. Don't go anywhere. Back with Lance. All right. And All right. Phyllis and Art. Go ahead. So really important when you're having dinner, share the table setting. Make sure that they can see everything. Use a tripod or even put the computer on a, a stack of books. That'll work. And it always also, helps. Bring something to share, maybe a picture or a poem or a family toast that you can do virtually. Or eat the whole thing. Also, have one conversation. No <laughs> crosstalk because it's going to be hard for the person to hear on the other side. Also, keep it quiet if you can. Too much cacophony, they can't follow along. Cacophony. Also, if they're alone, no if their family member is, is maybe by themselves, encourage them to wear wireless earbuds because they will actually hear better and they will hear you better <laughs> if you can do it. <laughs> when the meal is done... When the meal is done, don't everybody get away and forget the people who are sitting there. Take one of the screens with you for cleanup time. You have to oh. keep them engaged the oh. whole time. It's important. It's a third move. Also, what else? Also, maybe you all watch a movie together. You could all stream on Netflix Party, Amazon Watch, or, or Group Watch on Disney+. Plus. You can all do it at the same You can same stream time at the laptop, same time in different places. On a laptop, on a laptop, or I, a desktop. I, also, you can play an after-dinner game. Let your remote guests lead it. Do 20 questions, trivia, something like that. Pictionary even. They can hold stuff up. But can you also up. do this? 
Like if you're, yeah, you, if, you if, can if it do goes that. the way it goes you sometimes. Can do that. By the way, remember, to, to remind your parents if they forget that they're on camera, tell them. Or also if they've <laughs> muted themselves, hold up a sign. You're on mute because they won't hear you. So we can use those cards. That we end have. of the end of the night. End of the night. Let your remote guests read a story to the children. I mean, this is honestly, this is reality. I mean, we joke, yeah. but this is reality. This is it. And uh, we have to record ours. And bring it to the <laughs> I want to yes, know. I want to know. Well, I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> Today's tips are at kellyandryan.com. We'll be right back. Thank you, Lance. Well done. Thank you, Bye, Lance. Bye, Bye, Art. Thanks, Phyllis. Bye, guys. <laughs>